Guys, I have my coffee cup. <laughs> you know what that means, right? It's a chatty video. <laughs> my name's Tammy and I own a small bath and body company in central Indiana. So if you're new around here, welcome. This video is a little different for my, for my normal content. This is just a chatty video of me sharing my experiences and thoughts and how I did at Indiana's largest festival, the Covered Bridge Festival. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If not, skip this one guys and maybe I'll see you in the next one, okay? The Covered Bridge Festival does span over 10 days. It is like two weekends and the week in between. Let me, let me just tell you, I did very, very well. I exceeded my goal. And so we'll talk about money later in the video, but this first part is just experience and, and how it went. So guys, this was my second year attending the Covered Bridge Festival. Last year, I was in a much uh, slower, slower paced and less traveled spot. It was Billy Creek Village. It was one of those old timey villages that people walk through. Uh, I was gonna go back to that, even though I knew I could make more money at where I was this year. I still liked the vibe of that one. It was very, very laid back. It was just like people were strolling. It was really just a neat, unexpected vibe at a festival and I was planning to go back to there but what happened is if the property was sold and bought and the new owners weren't uh, making the determination on whether they would even host vendors until much further into the year than I was comfortable with so when the spot opened up I jumped on it and I'm actually quite happy I did so that's why I'm on the Rock, square of Rockville, and I think I'll be there for the duration of my wanting to be a vendor at this event. Whew, it's been two weeks. I do have notes. Let me get my notes out. It took me a full week to recover. Guys, this was tough. <laughs> this was a tough one for me. So on my space, I was in the tent. It's one of those great big tents. I was able to put my canopy inside the tent and I really wanted that because I wanted lights in on my crossbars which I will show you a picture of my tent inside the tent or my canopy inside the tent with my lights on. I thought it was wonderful. I'm so happy I had that electricity and I was able to do that. I was not too far from the restrooms and the the courthouse actually opened up their basement because they have a, a decent restroom there was probably I don't know maybe eight or nine stalls which for a small town is pretty significant and they had that open so we we didn't have to go to porta pots or anything and major thing is uh the vendors got a uh, lanyard with a tag on it and we got to bypass the line it wasn't huge other than that first weekend I bet I went one time and there was probably 30 or 40 women in line and I got to bypass all of those. And I got some looks a couple times, but I think once they got into the restroom and they saw that the stall was handicapped or vendor only, uh, they, they kind of figured that out. But I will say the first weekend was so busy, every single time I left to go to the restroom, or well, that was the only time I left actually, I know I lost sales. I know for a fact I lost sales every single time I went. So it was really, really helpful to be able to bypass that line and go straight to the restroom. Um, so I'm super, super thankful for that. It wasn't horribly far away. I was afraid I was going to have to park really far away. I didn't. I was about a block away, which wasn't bad. Guys, let's talk about weather for a second. On one hand, it did not rain one day. That was awesome. There was no rain in sight for the full 10 days. That is unheard of. We did have some snow though. <laughs> That's not common, but it's not unheard of in Indiana for us to have some snow. Now there wasn't any accumulation or anything. It was just snow flurries one morning, but we had three days where it did not hit over 40 degrees. It was in the 30s for three days straight. I'm glad it was through the week because I feel like that's a slower time anyway. It, guys, it was so cold. Oh my gosh. So I would have, I think I had four or five layers on top with a cover around me, scarf, hat, <laughs> gloves, hand warmers, 
feet warmers. I didn't even know that was a thing. My husband ran to Walmart and got me a heater so I could keep, you know, I had it down on the ground so my feet were nice and toasty most of the time. <laughs> Very cold. And my cream sales during those three days tanked because, okay, I don't want to brag because it's not like it's my great formula. I got the formula from Lotion Crafter, but if people try my creams, I would say 40 or 50%, and that's conservative, they will buy. 40 to 50% of the people that actually try it will buy the cream. It's just that awesome. So three days, everybody had gloves on and nobody bought creams. <laughs> nobody was testing them. I think I sold two or three for the whole three days. It was horrible. But the weather through the weekends was beautiful, sunny. One day it was super, super windy like really windy. Last year we had a tornado. So I'm just thankful we didn't have a tornado this year. <laughs> okay, so guys, I grossly underestimated the amount of product I would need to take to this thing. I mean, there was probably out of the 10 days, I probably three of those didn't come home to make product. And one of those was the first night <laughs> and the last night. <laughs> I think almost every night I was coming home making products and almost every morning I was getting up early and either making products or packaging what I had made the night before. It was crazy. I very, very, very much underestimated what I would need to take to this thing. My biggest sellers or... I shouldn't say biggest sellers. The things that I had to make in the middle of the week were scrubs and bath bombs. I had, scrubs were crazy. People were just crazy for the scrubs. <laughs> so scrubs and bath bombs, I was coming home and making. And the, so last year it was wax melts. I was coming home and making wax melts every night. And this year my wax melts did not sell very well, comparatively speaking at all. I was like, gosh, so more on that in a minute. But yes, I was, it was very, very tiring. I actually purchased compression socks for next year. And, and I may even wear them at work because my calves are still killing me <laughs> from standing on that hard ground, frozen hard ground <laughs> um, for 10 days. I'm still trying to recover from that. It was physically hard work. Um, restocking every morning, all of that good stuff, but physically it was tough. And it was nine to six every day. I would leave the, it's about 35 minutes away for me to drive. So I would leave the house no later than eight o'clock, usually a quarter till, cause I wanted to get there a little early and restock and go to the bathroom and do all that stuff. Uh, and then at, at night, I mean, I, I got right home and I was probably home by 640 at the latest. Uh, every night, but then I was I was still working. It, it was tough. It was a hard week, a hard hard ten days. <laughs> I have a new friend through through this channel, Sabrina, and she would text me and uh, ask me how I was doing, and she was so encouraging. So Sabrina, if you're watching this, thank you so much. <laughs> I really did appreciate being able to just share those little tidbits with you through the week. So I appreciate that. I just wanted to give you a little shout out. I love I love the friends I've made on this channel. Let's, let's talk about quantity. Before we get into the money at the end, I'll give you the money at the end. Let's talk about quantity. So I did a comparison to last year. No, last year, guys, was, I, I sold 36.50 maybe last year in sales. 36.50 in sales last year. Um, last year, I sold 190 wax melts. This year, I sold 185. I over doubled. I made more than double on sales this year, but my wax melts did not move. And I don't know if it's my new packaging, my new display. I don't know. I was shocked that my wax melts were not moving very, very much at all. I was, I was really kind of disappointed in that. Uh, bath bombs. Last year was right over 100, this year was right over 200. So I, I doubled my sale on bath bombs from last year. So 200 bath bombs is a lot. And some of that's the kids and some of it that's the adults. 
soap. I sold 200 plus, a little over 200 in soap last year. This year, 475. So I over doubled my sales in soap and this is kind of why I was unprepared for all of this. I had no idea. <laughs> creams were a little bit uh, static. I sold 42 creams last year. I sold 53 this year. And I do think that those three days played a big, big role in that because people were not taking gloves off to test my creams. So I only sold 53 this year. Uh, I don't have uh, figures for these next three, but liquid soaps, I sold 17. Some of those were on clearance, but some of them weren't. Uh, room sprays, I, old, I, ha, um, I have a video. I don't know if this is coming out before or after my room spray video, but I sold 16. I was really super happy with that. That was pretty good. I had a guy come back the next day and buy more room sprays. <laughs> it was awesome. And candles, I only sold 13 candles, guys. And I really felt like I needed to sell 14 to make it worth my investment in selling candles. So let's talk about investment real quick. So how much did it cost me to be at this event? My booth space was 800 for the 10 days. My electricity was 50 well worth it. When it comes to that heater, it was so worth it to have electricity and my lights, but that heater was like game changer. Um, my insurance, I had to purchase insurance and put it in the Park County's like whatever name under their name. That was 150. And then my license was 120. So it's a merchant license you have to purchase you get a waiver on that fee if everything you make is handmade. <sighs> everything you make has to be handmade or you have to pay this fee, $120 because I live outside of Park County. So like direct sales, they have to pay this fee. None of their products are handmade. Uh, any kind of flea market people, they have to pay the 120 fee because they're not, they're reselling. Why do I have to pay this fee? Well, Park County doesn't consider candles to be homemade. Wax melts are homemade, candles are not. I don't know. I was so upset about that. <laughs> so let's see, so eight, nine, 10, 11, 20. 11, 20, not including gas. Now I figure it cost me about 125-ish for gas. No, I do get to be able, I do claim my mileage for my, uh, on my taxes. So I don't know if I should consider gas or not, but 1120 without gas, um, was what my fee was or all, all of my fees. My best day was Saturday and that was $1,400. So days one, two, and three, I made a thousand, 14 and 13 in sales. And so I'm like texting Sabrina, oh my gosh, I'm on track to make $10,000. This is crazy. <laughs> I did make $10,000 in sales. <laughs> I didn't expect the week to be that high, but I really kind of thought the second weekend would be just as busy. Obviously the second weekend was busier and, and more sales than, than through the week, but um, it wasn't near the first three days. The, the first three days were crazy crazy busy guys. That's why I said every single time I left my booth to go to the restroom, I know I lost at least one or two sales, at least. And there was no break. There was no break in people walking through. It was crazy. <laughs> my worst day of sales was 460. I can't remember which, I think that was the coldest day. My, you know, was um, worst day, but you know. 460 on my worst day is still double my worst day from last year. My worst day last year, I didn't even break 200. So, and that was through the week. It was really slow last year through the week where I was at. So let's talk about final sales, final sales. And I don't even have my figure in front of me, guys. <laughs> I don't have my figure, but I know that it was a bit over 7,500 in sales. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So <laughs> I'm going to try to be really smart with this money. <laughs> I can't do toys. 
Now, I, all right, I have already spent some of it. <laughs> I did buy a couple molds, um, so more on that later, but uh, I'm, I am gonna try to be pretty, pretty tight with this little bit of money I have. One of the things I'm going to do with it is I am gonna go a little bit fewer hours at work. So the channel and my sales are paying for three hours a week. I'm gonna put back some of this money to pay for another two hours. So I am down to 35 hours of working through my day job and that is just super awesome. And maybe, maybe next year I'll be able to actually go down a little bit more and actually work part time. I just, it makes me nervous. <laughs> makes me nervous to lose my full-time status. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. But 75 plus in sales cost me 11 something. So, you know, over 6,000 in profit, not including obviously my my money that I had into the, into the system or into my products. But yes, I'm very, very happy. My goal was 6,000 and I, and I, I beat it. I smashed it. My husband says I didn't smash it, but I did. I smashed that goal. <laughs> uh, my floors are getting done soon with this money and my room as all of that. I'm going to use this money to, to do that room and do the floors downstairs. So I'm looking forward to that, but everything else, I'm going to try to be a little bit more uh, contained and not let that get down too low. I've got taxes and sales tax I have to pay for. So yeah, I'll need some of it for that for sure. <laughs> but I don't have enough product to get me through the end of the year. And I really thought I had enough product for this and through the end of the year. So today I made four soaps. They're not gonna be ready for my next two craft shows, but they will be ready before Christmas. And I've been making sugar scrubs like crazy. I've been making, what else have I made? Creams. I've got another, I made a huge batch of creams. I'm going to make another huge batch this week. And uh, then next weekend, I'm going to be working on bath bombs. And I'm going to restock my bath bombs because I'm almost out. Oh, let me tell you what I'm going to do different next year. <laughs> next year, I am going to make bigger batches and fewer batches. One of the things that I did that kind of exhausted me before I even got there was I was making all of these small batches because I wanted to use up all these little bottles of fragrance oil. I still want to use up all these bottles of fragrance oil, but if you think about it, that nine bar batch is three times more work than a 27 bar batch, my bigger batch. And I'm thinking, no wonder I'm so tired because I'm putting in triple the work to get the same amount of soap. And I don't want to do that next year. Next year, I want to make bigger batches and just have fewer scents. Um, and I'm just going to take my best sellers and maybe a few off scents or weird scents or seasonal scents. But um, it was my icy peppermint sold out. My cranberry pumpkin sold out within a few days. Uh, patchouli rain sold out. Perfect man sold out. I mean... There's a few more that sold out. I mean, it, it was just, it was crazy, crazy. So uh, fewer batches, but bigger. My husband says, there's no way you're gonna be able to do that. You say that you're all talk. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna start calling me A.T. Tammy. I'll talk Tammy. <laughs> he may be right, but I'm gonna try. And that's why I bought a bigger mold. We'll see. We'll see more on that again later. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. That's something I'm gonna do ne different next year. And next year, I do think I'm gonna have to pay one of my grandkids to come with me and help me. Um, I never, I didn't get to really enjoy the festival at all. It was just crazy. Uh, couldn't really leave to go shopping or looking around or eat even. So that first weekend, I may pay, I may pay one of my grandkids to help me out. Uh, so I think that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Um, I really want to thank you guys for showing so much interest in this festival with me. I've had a lot of comments about when are you going to give us an update and, and all the well wishes and good lucks and different things like that. So I just really appreciate you guys uh, showing an interest in this that is just consumed my summer. One more thing before I get off here, my Coverbridge soaps. 
guys. I sold one four pack. I have right now, before I made my four soaps today, about 200 bars of soap left on my shelf. It's really not very much when you consider over a hundred of those are covered bridge soaps. <laughs> I sold one set. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> uh, anyway, just wanted to share that. Dang it. Everybody talked about them. Oh man, they were a draw. Yeah, no, oh well. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for your interest and your, and your support and just all that good stuff, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.